Right guys, it's official. I am now a registered drone pilot within the United Kingdom. So today the doors have been opened with the Civil Aviation Authority and now you can actually take an online theory test and if you pass that theory test, then you can go on to register as being a drone pilot with the Civil Aviation Authority. Now, it's only a small fee. It's a fee of nine pounds, which is not going to break the bank. But anyway, this video is just to quickly talk to you guys about the whole process of registering as a drone pilot within the United Kingdom. So. If you click the link below, you will see that we're going to go to this website and the website is registerdrones.caa.co.uk Flying drones and model aircraft. So here we go, this is the new law that is coming into effect. You must have two registrations in place before you fly a drone or model aircraft that's 250 grams to 20 kilograms. Anyone who, who will fly must pass a theory test to get a flyer ID. The person that's responsible for the drone or model aircraft must register to get an operator ID. Now here's what goes guys, if you only fly other people's drones, okay, then you will not have to pay anything. All you will have to do is to pass the theory test. So if you pass your theory test, you will get the flyer ID. And that will allow you to fly my drone, obviously with my permission. However, if you wish to fly your own drone, then you will need to purchase your operator's ID in addition to passing your theory test. So now you know that if you want to fly other people's drones, it's going to just simply be pass the theory test and you pay no money. If you want to fly your own drone, then you need to pass the theory test, pay nine point and register your legal identity in order to become a drone pilot within the United Kingdom. So let's move on. As you can see, it's saying it's against the law to fly without passing the test or registering, stuff like that. Now, I'm not going to bore you with you that. What we're interested in, guys, is over here at the resources. You see in the resources, now if we click the drone and model aircraft code, this is basically what you're going to study in order to take your theory test. Now, the thing is, with myself, I just went ahead and done the test because I thought, you know, yeah, I know a bit about it, but I got two questions wrong, okay? So as you can see, you, I don't know everything because I still got two questions wrong, even though I still did pass on my first time. But let's have a look at this drone code, the drone and model aircraft code. This is something you need to study before you take your theory test because all that answers are contained within this uh, drone and model aircraft code. So as you can see, Again, we get the warning, it is against the law to fly a drone or model aircraft without passing a theory test or registering. You can also be fined for breaking the law when flying. In the most serious cases, you could be sent to prison. So as you can see, they're trying to be very serious about this now. So let's move on. So as you can see, the contents, flying safely and respons responsibly. So let's have a look, look at that. So we open it, we go down and we can see that it's saying you're responsible for flying safely whenever you fly okay always keep your drone and model aircraft in direct sight so if you keep going down as you can see it's now giving us some graphics in this case it's telling you don't fly behind trees not only can you lose facial sight by flying behind trees but you could also lose connection from the controller to the aircraft itself so as you can see it's giving you all this information now if you press next it's saying where you can fly where you can fly never fly above 400 feet which is 120 meters Fly with never uh, flying where there are hills, mountains, or cliffs. If you fly where the ground level falls or rises, such as over hills, mountains, or cliffs, you'll need to trust the height of your drone or model aircraft so it's never more 
than 120 meters from the surface. So as you can see guys, it's giving you all this information. Here's another one, never fly closer than 50 meters to people. And then if you keep going on, uh, never fly closer to uh, buildings, never fly closer to these than 50 meters. So stay away from buildings, 50 meters, blah, blah, blah. So as you can see, all the information you need in order to pass the CAA th theory test to become a drone pilot is on this website. For example, never fly in an airport's flight restriction zone. You've got graphics there that clearly show you how airports operate. So right guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave a link in this video to the CAA's website in order for you to, you know, do the theory test and register as a drone pilot within the UK. But as you can see guys, it's over for me. I am now a registered drone pilot within the United Kingdom and I could not be happier because if anybody comes up to me now and start them preaching, you know, dog walkers, oh, what are you doing? You, do, you should be doing that, blah, blah. Guess what? I can now tell them I am a registered drone pilot, I know exactly what I can and cannot do. You got any problems, phone a police officer. You get me guys? Now I have got some backing behind me and it is, it's called being a registered drone pilot within the United Kingdom with the Civil Aviation Authority. Right guys, thanks for watching the video and I hope you pass your theory test and you, you too become a registered drone pilot. I'll see you all later.